Hey, welcome back to my tutorial series. And this is going to be a quick tip about the data transfer modifier. So the data transfer modifier lets you transfer data from one object to another. And I want to use it here to create this blended uh, fairing. So on the canopy on the 109, there's this little bent out fairing that holds the, uh, allows the cable for the de-icing wire to come out. Now you could model this all as one piece, uh, but if you did that, you'd have to, you'd probably have to do a lot of edge loop stuff here to get this kind of broad larger planes to then merge into the more detail that's required for this fairing. So a way to get around this is a way, a way to get around having to model this as part of this bigger piece is to use the data transfer. So I want to start off by creating a shrink wrap, a subdivision, right? Now the target of the shrink wrap, we need a vertex group for that. So I'm going to create a vertex group and I'm going to select those outer edges and assign them at one. And I'm going to select this kind of inner middle edge and I'm going to make that 0.5 just so it's got a little less pull down. That'll allow it to fill it through. Right? So it won't be quite so sharp an edge. And you want to pick the group and you want to pick the target. You can see how that starts to snuggle down. I'm going to put my subdivision on top and that's going to give more data to the shrink wrap so it can do a better job of conforming to the underlying piece. Uh, the next thing now is to add the data transfer modifier. And that's over here under modify. You want to pick the target or the source, which is that underlying plate. You want to tell it what vertex group to use. And that's going to be that vertex group that we pick there. And then you want to go down here to this checkbox, select face corner data, select that. And then you want to click on the custom normals button. All right, and that's all you need to do. Now, it doesn't look so, you can still see the difference here, um, but I put a very mirrored modifier on this, or shader on it. You can see how it blends, blends in there. If we go to camera view, uh, you can see how that, this piece completely blends in with that other piece, it's saving you all that extra work of having to, you know, transfer all these, all the uh, edge loops from the bigger piece to the smaller piece. All right, so that's it for the quick tip. Hope that's helpful. Sometimes it's a real lifesaver. Bye. Right, see you in the next one.